What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RP series and this is the final episode for the bow and arrow, okay? Don't worry, the next episode we will already begin finally creating the open world, so stay up to that. So, in this episode what we will do is adjust the arrow spawn position, so we will actually align to where we are aiming and we will actually be able to hit things, you know? And then we will also create a simple arrow uh, amount that we need in order to basically be able to fire. If not, we don't have any arrows, we cannot shoot, okay? It's gonna be very easy to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is make the arrow spawn pause align because right now when I press play as you can see get my uh, my bow for example shoot to the shield as you can see it doesn't really go where my crosser is okay so right now if I go ahead and just pause the game and check for the arrow position which should be down which is here arrow spawn pause and I disable the hidden in game so we can see it Right now it is in here, and every time that we shoot, we are basically refreshing it to look uh, basically where it is, uh, you know, uh, where we are looking up and down. But we are going to be changing this, okay? We are going to be just adjusting and, hit, and just literally putting the arrow as a child of our camera and in a better rotation so it will always match, okay? So, what we're going to do is go to the third person character blueprint. And this, we're going to basically disconnect it, get this three nodes and four nodes, sorry, and just drop them down and just directly connect this into here, okay? So we will not adjust the rotation or whatever when we shoot. And then what we're going to do is go to the viewport, select the arrow spawn pause, and first of all, let's just disable hidden in game just so we can preview it. And then what I'm going to do is instead of having it as a child of the bow, uh, which is right now invisible, of course. I'm gonna just make a child of the camera, okay? So now on here, what we can do is change a bit of the settings. So let's just put, for example, here around 29, it will just be better. Uh, as you can see, the camera is here uh, in the back, right? So we're gonna put it over here and I'm gonna change a bit the um, alignment, right? In this case, minus 137 will work. Minus 31 will not work around minus 2 will be a bit better. So it's orienting a bit better and here we're gonna put around 5 as you can see now It is actually aiming more into the center of the screen if I put my camera here, right? As you can see it's a bit tilted towards downwards and to the right. So it will actually be Correct. So now if I were to compile this and press play you can see that when I aim we can see the arrow here and if I shoot to the shield we actually go ahead and shoot and hit the shield as you can see <laughs> finally and of course it will also work with the dummy and everything we actually hit it which is really cool now another thing is that if we shoot while we are basically running uh it's a bit we cannot collide with the own um with the own thing right how will we say the own uh, body so let's just quickly change this to be in world okay and bring it a bit forward okay so like a bit all right hopefully that didn't change a lot so now like we should still be able to shoot to the shield right and hit it as you can see uh, but if we run and shoot now okay we still <laughs> we are still pretty much colliding with it so what we can do is the first seconds disable the collision for our arrow okay so let's go to the arrow blueprint and right at the beginning so at the the gameplay when it is spawned i'm going to set actor collision disable it and then i'm gonna wait literally 0.2 seconds okay and then just enable it once again it's a quick trick to non collide with our own character right so now if i run and shoot as you can see we don't longer collide and we actually get to shoot where we want which is great and it still collides with the environment and we can hit our shield and uh whatever we want right uh maybe if also, we could put it a bit back now that we got that sorted, so we can just put it a bit backwards, okay? So around like 472, right? And that will be a bit more accurate. So if I shoot the shield, we'll hit the shield as you can see, 
and uh, you can adjust a bit so it's a bit more precise but overall I think it's pretty precise and like I said when we run we can still shoot so that's great okay so now we have that uh, configured and set up cool so let's close that and what I want to do now is make a arrow amount okay so you don't have unlimited arrows okay so what we're going to do is go and open up the blueprints folder and open up the attack blueprint system and here components where we have all of the bow shoot mechanic okay and all of our bow conditions so in this case we're going to create a new variable which will be uh, current arrows okay which is the one that's the ones that we have and we're gonna put an integer okay and we're also gonna create another one which will be max uh, arrows and that will be also an integer so by default max arrows let's put like maybe 20 and then current arrows to also 20 so we'll match our max variable so now what i'm going to do is go to third person event graph and here's when we shoot right shoot the arrow so i am going to basically get the attack system component and you say get um the what was it the the arrow amount which is current okay and basically if this is um bigger than zero we can go ahead and shoot in this case that will be there and then i am going to also um decrease by one so we'll just get this and do a minus minus right decrement by one the the arrow and we'll basically go ahead and shoot so now you should only be able to fire those amount of times also let's disable the in the camera the arrow pause we can just uh, hide it once again because we don't need it anymore okay so now if i were to instead of putting a uh, 220 to 2 right you will see that now when I press play, let me shoot to a place where we can see our arrow. I uh, will shoot, as you can see I shoot, I can shoot again, but then when I shoot again, the arrow doesn't launch. So that's basically gonna end up working, so make sure to put this at 20. Now we're gonna set an option for unlimited arrows, just in case you want to basically, you know, not have this, right? But still have it integrated in a way, but we can just enable it or disable it. So in this case, I am going to get the again this, and you say get unlimited unlimited arrows. There we go. So I'm gonna make an and statement. If this is not true, so we don't have unlimited arrows, and this happens, we can shoot. If not, not okay. So that's how we will go ahead and test it. That should work. Remember to connect the ant into here. And we should have this just disabled by default if you want. And current, put it into 20. So we will not use max arrows in the series. But if you want to implement it that you only can have 20 arrows, you can go ahead and do so with your practice. So that's it with the tutorial. If you found it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. Remember that the product files will be available in my patrons and YouTube members. So check them out. Join my Discord server. Follow me on my socials. Now, yes, we're all set. Bye bye.